Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to educate on the horizontal cable rear delt row. And before we get into the education of this exercise, I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as it is an immense help to us. Now, before we get into the education of this exercise, I want to speak to biasing tension towards those rear delts. When we're speaking to biasing tension, it's not that the surrounding muscle groups, the biceps, the upper back are doing absolutely nothing. It is just simply that we are putting more tension towards the rear delts while the upper back and the biceps are just doing less because of the setup and the exercise. So I'm gonna have Sue rotate so you guys can see through this camera where we want to find the positioning within her elbows. So if we have her elbows straight out in front of her and what you're gonna see when we get to the cable is that we want this cable at shoulder height. And so her intent with this exercise is going to be pressing out the elbows. We want to be working in roughly a 45 degree angle for the shoulder. This would be perfectly at 90 and this would be perfectly at her sides. So we wanna find kind of the middle ground in there. And what we wanna do here is not try to retract. We wanna push this arm back to find that fully shortened position within that rear delt. So now that she has established where this elbow angle needs to be, we're just going to simply take this into the cable and allow for this to be lined up perfectly. Now, the handle that Sue is using is the four-in-one from Prime Fitness. Your gym may be fantastic and have this piece of equipment, maybe not, but the main thing here is that we want to have a handle that is going to be roughly shoulder width or slightly outside of shoulder width apart. And how Sue is going to initiate this movement is that she's going to drive the elbows out her goal is to kind of wrap the arms around and push those elbows back relative to just directly rowing and pulling as if she was to just to pull back, what's gonna happen is that she's going to use a lot of the upper back rather than just trying to bias the rear delts. Now, in this gym specifically, you will see, if you wanna go ahead and just set this here, you will see that we are able to adjust this to the proper height to fit Sue specifically. Not everyone's gym is going to be able to do that. It may be a fixed height. It may be lower, it may be higher, and what we wanna do there is allow for you to tilt the body. So if Sue, without the handle here, we'll just go ahead and show, let's say that the cable is very low. So what she will be doing is simply just getting it to shoulder height by leaning forward and aligning the, the tissue with the cable itself. Whereas if it was higher, she's just going to be leaning back more to have that same effect. Another thing to think about within this exercise is going to be the hand positioning. Now, with this piece of equipment that Sue is utilizing, it is putting her into the perfect position, being semi-pronated. Now, Sue is going to rotate towards the camera here and showcase what that truly means. Because some of the pieces of equipment are going to put you into a fully pronated position which this is not bad, it's simply just not going to be the best. And it's going to be a little bit more challenging for her to get to that 45 degree angle that we spoke to. Can she still do it? Yes, but it may be challenging on her elbow. She may find that she gets a little bit of, of discomfort or fatigue through that elbow. And other options may be that she's in a neutral position. Again, can she get to that elbow positioning? Probably, but it could be a little uncomfortable on the elbow. And the same is going to go if she was to go either semi-supinated or fully supinated. This one's probably gonna be the most challenging. Go ahead and try. <laughs> that one's a little tough. So when we're looking at the handle placement or the handle selection that you are uh, selecting, at that point we would want to try and find something that is going to be semi-pronated, potentially a D handle, or again, if you're blessed with prime equipment at your gym, they have the four in one, they have the uh, rotate handles as a whole, that would be a great option as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other videos, then definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Or if you want to look at some articles or some different resources, check us out at physiquedevelopment.com or other social channels.